Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Expines TV. I'm Giselle Adams. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, January 24th. Now let's go to Catherine for Today in History. Thank you, Giselle. Howdy, Patriots. Today in History on January 24th, 1848, James Marshall discovered gold at Stutters Mill in Coloma, California, causing the California Gold Rush. The California Gold Rush was an era when many people came to California in search of gold after it was discovered there. James Marshall, an American carpenter and sawmill operator, accidentally started this big time rush when he was expecting a sawmill at the time when he noticed gold nuggets in the dirt. As a result, about 300,000 people from around the world came in search of gold. What a golden discovery! Now let's check in for today's lunch with Jasmine. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is spaghetti with Italian meat sauce, seasoned breadstick, turkey and cheese wrap, seasoned Italian veggies, fresh broccoli, ranch dressing, garden side salad, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is apple fruitle, raisin bran, graham crackers, fresh apple, 100% orange juice, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu contains at any time, and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's head back to Giselle. Thank you, Jasmine. That sounds delicious. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. It opens from 7.15 and 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there is no chewing gum in school. Please put it out before entering the building. This week is Literacy Week, highlighting the importance of reading and also School Choice Week. Eighth graders, select your next move carefully. Speaking of eighth grade, tomorrow eighth grader will take their fast math test. This will be the last testing day of January. The rough days are finally over. Take this time to congratulate yourself. Patriots, your hard work has paid off. Today, K through second, will celebrate their pizza and popsicle party in the cafeteria at 1.30 p.m. Tomorrow, 3rd through 5th will celebrate in the cafeteria at 1.30 p.m. and 6th through 8th will have their party on Friday. Let's take a look at the students that got invited to all the fun. Congratulations to all the scholars going to the party. Also celebrating soon. Friday, January 26th will be our Patriot of the Month ceremony. I can't wait to see the highlights. And finally, early enrollment is still going on. Let your parents know to let us know if you are or not coming back for next school year. Now let's cool down with Camilo for today's weather. Thank you, Giselle. Salutations, Patriots. Today's weather is 79 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Make sure to wear your sunglasses. In other weather news, a big cold snap in Florida has caused manatees to gather in record numbers with hopes of staying warm. Officials say that the manatees are drawn to the Blue Spring State Park when the other waters become cold, as the springs are at a constant temperature of 72 degrees. Did you know that 932 manatees were counted in the park, breaking the previous record of 736 manatees on New Year's Day? Wow, so bizarre and cool. Now let's go to be live for today's birthdays. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Luciano Viva, Alejandra Acosta, Siobhan Byfield, Caleb Campbell, Juan Rios, and Dasha Villavicencia. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Giselle. Thank you, Elia. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to... Ms. Jordan, Ms. Sands, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Nelson, and Ms. Merkel for getting the correct answer to yesterday's challenge, which was, why can't the pony sing itself a lullaby? The correct answer was because it was a little horse. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! Can you guess the missing number?
Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day!